so guys let's implement the Bellman equation okay and so for that obviously first what we need to do we need to you know import all the libraries okay okay now we will define our reward function and the transition probability okay so instead of you know creating arrays and all that let's create a function which will automatically you know uh, uh, give a reward for for the action uh, uh, I mean we are calling okay so it will be like diff reward and here we will pass state and action and for that it will return us reward so if state equal to equal to 0 and state equal to equal to 1 then return so here we are using uh, that grid wall ex uh, remember uh, I mean the grid wall example that we have seen in previous video so similar example we are seeing here okay so first of all we need to define our reward in transition probabilities so let's do that <coughs> 3 and action equal to equal to 1 then return 5 else 0 <coughs> now the transition probability ok Okay, here we will have our state, action and the next state, okay. So I have created this function in a way so that, you know, anybody can understand what exactly happening inside this function. And action equal to equal to 1 and next state equal to equal to 1 return 1 so let me first write it and explain to you if next state then it will return 0 0.5 so what basically happening in reward and transition probability function is that so this reward function that takes uh, two arguments state and action so it return a scalar reward value based on the current state and action and the transition probability so this function uh, compute the probability transitioning from one state to another given a particular action so it take a three, arg three arguments state action and next uh, next state and return a probability value so so this transition probability function return a probability of one when the agent is in state zero and the action and take action one to move to state one or you know uh, when the <coughs> agent is in action th uh, state 3 and take an action 0 to move to state 2 and when the agent stay uh, you know stay in the same state the probability is 0 0.5 otherwise it will be 0 so this is what it explains okay where I am okay it should be written yeah now let's define the Bellman equation and the main so first of all let's define the main function okay so here we will write our main function so here we will initialize our value function okay so it will be value equal to and p dot zeros let's say 4 comma 2 okay so if you print if you want to print this let's say what it uh, so just right here and you will see what it prints okay so 4 row 2 column of zeros okay so we you know we will iterate through all of them and we will see that uh, basically from 0 where it go next okay 
now also remember we also have to define our gamma 0 0.9 now what we will do we will compute so basically uh, you remember right I mean what basically we do in Billman equation so we calculate the optimal value function right so we will compute optimal value function okay so we'll run for five time okay for i in range 5 value equal to Bellman equation value comma gamma okay now uh, we also want to you know print and you know plot so printing part we will do here and the plotting part will do inside the uh, Bellman equation function okay now what we will print optimal value okay so it will be print optimal value function and value okay now we will call our main function if name call the main function okay now we will write here our Bellman equation okay so let's define this equation now it will take value and gamma okay like you can see here So let me write it and explain you what exactly is happening. Okay. New value equal to one p zeros. So this is uh, this is how we basically define the equation, the Bellman equation. Okay. So here we will have our, you know, it will it will get multiplied with the you know future rewards, future expected reward. <coughs> dot max okay now it is correct only yeah okay so our uh, function initialization and formula initialization is completed now our max value we need okay max value will be max of max value and action value 
okay will update the action value if it is optimal okay <coughs> now we will you know do the plotting part in which uh, first of all we have to you know print the new value function okay so it will be print and inside this we will have our new value okay now plt dot plot new underscore value dot flatten because it will be two dimensional plt dot x label state action pair now plt dot show and we'll return our new value okay so we are done with the bellman equation now if you ask me what exactly you know happening <coughs> so this code that you see is implementation of Wellman equation for finding the optimal value function so the value function is a function that map each state to the value that uh, you know represent the expected cumulative reward that can obtain from that state by following the particular policy okay so remember the Bellman equation is a recursive equation that you know compute the optimal value function by considering the expected reward and the expected f you know future value from each state action pair so basically what exactly we are doing here is we are initializing the new value function as a zero matrix of the same shape as the current value function uh, that I have you know show you uh, how it is for row two column with zeros okay now what we are doing we are iterating with the uh, you know each state in the value function and then we initializing the you know variable called max value to negative infinity infinity okay now we are do what we are doing we are iterating over action in the value function and initializing a variable called action value to zero okay now now uh, in the next line basically we are iterating over next state in the value function okay and <coughs> what we are doing here is we are calculating the expected value of the reward and the future value for the current state pair using the transition probability and the current value function now we what we are doing at last we are adding uh <coughs> we are adding the you know expected value to the action value and then we are taking the maximum value among all the action value and then we are updating the um, new value function with the max value for the current state and then we are plotting the new value function and returning the new value function so so this is what I mean uh, we, uh, this is how we implement Bellman equation you know using Python now let's plot them okay now you will see for each you know uh, value function there will be one plot okay so th there seems to be you know some mistake because it is not updating right so let's see the error and fix it uh, it must be in this function only yep so uh, our error has been gone now you will see that uh, let me extend it now you will see that earlier our you know uh, the data we have faded it was like this and you know it returned us new value function 0 comma 0 and this is how it is you know uh, looking now you can see that next time 
we have a new value function with 0 and 1.5 and then uh, you know uh, the plot you will see the changes and we keep updating I mean it is keep updating and you will see the graph differently uh, uh, in a different you know iteratively so basically uh, you have seen right I mean how basically Billman equation solve the you know problem of uh, getting getting optimal value a function and you can see right ch it changes over time as the algorithm converges to you know optimal solution and this way it is you know it will keep going until and uh, until unless the algorithm converts to you know optimal solution so hope you guys have understood what is Bellman equation uh, so in in the next uh, next video we'll uh, start our you know state value function so yeah